So your fridge is so empty, I've seen more food in a vending machine. Your fridge looks like a science experiment gone wrong. Yeesh, that was a bit harsh. I mean, it's not wrong, but still. Look, we all know that feeling when you go make something to eat, you open up the fridge and you stare at it blankly, wondering if the nearest takeout place is still open. Well, check this out. I'm looking for some ideas of something I can make for lunch that's nice and quick. Any ideas? You could make a quick fruit salad with the mangoes or a smoothie with the blueberries and Greek yogurt. Do either of those sound good? What about something with that, um, with this, whatever this is? Okay, that looks like salmon. You could make a salmon salad with some mayo and celery or use it to top a green salad. In an instant, it didn't just take stock of what's going on in the fridge. It figured out what works well together. It suggested actual meals using only what I had. And it understood that nice and quick does not mean Gordon Ramsay six hours in the kitchen stuff. Right, so at my lunch, I spilled some fruit on my shirt, which was definitely going to stain. And my brilliant wife told me to use the stain remover and throw it in the wash. Uh, our laundry looks like a Harry Potter chemistry classroom with so many bottles, lotions and potions. Which one do I use? So I've got these three products and I'm not sure which one I should use on to remove some stains because they all say stain remover. The Great Value Laundry Stain Remover in the red and orange bottle is designed for laundry stains. The Shout Triple Acting in the white bottle is also for laundry, but it's a more concentrated formula. The Great Value All-Purpose Cleaner in the green bottle is for household surfaces, not clothing. Okay, so between this one and this one, which is better? If you're looking for the best stain remover, the Shout Triple Acting is probably your best bet. Should I use this and washing powder or just this? The Earth Breeze sheets are a substitute for regular detergent, so you don't need to use both. Just toss one of those sheets in with your laundry. So the app figured out what I was asking with my natural speech. It then tossed out the products that definitely wasn't going to do the job and instead told me which one to use. And apparently those washing sheets replaced detergent. Told you, Harry Potter flying magic lives in this laundry room. Oh, and speaking of flying, in Texas, we're currently going through some insane fly season for some reason. So of course, I went out, did the responsible thing and bought a bug spray. Yeah, equally, of course, I didn't think to ask if this was dog friendly. I've got this product. I need to know if it's safe to use around dogs. Raid multi insect spray is toxic to dogs, so it's best to keep them away from it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Does it say any precautions I need to be aware of? Because I'm not reading the entire label. Yes, there are several precautions listed on the can. It says to cover exposed food, dishes and food handling equipment, and to remove pets, birds, and cover fish aquariums before spraying. You should also remove or cover any exposed food and drinking water before application. Yeah, that was a lot easier than trying to decipher the Arial Font Negative 1 novel that is actually pasted on the bug spray. Seriously. Who's going to read this crap? So all this sorcery is actually called Gemini Live, where you can share your screen and just talk to it, not like a robot, but like a regular human. What makes it so powerful is that it's not just seeing object. It connects what it can see and what you ask it, and then it interprets the context before it makes any decisions on how to answer you. If you ask me what is the most useful app on my phone, Right now, especially as I'm doing shit around the house, this has to be it. And it does a great job. Well, mostly. How many pencils can you see in the glass? I can only see two pencils in the glass. Oh, so you got that one right. So let's um, up the ante a little bit. All right, let me just grab a bunch more here and stick them into the glass. And then we'll try this again. So now, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six pencils in this glass. Let's see. How many are in the glass now? I can see six pencils in the glass. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, so it got that one right as well. But let's go try a whole bunch more. So let's grab some more. Oops, lost that one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come on, come on, you can do this. 13, 14, 15. Okay, we have 15 pencils in this glass. Let's see what it does now. How many pencils are now in the glass? 
There are 17 pencils in the glass now. Are you sure there's 17? My bad. There are actually 18 pencils in the glass. Anything else? No, that's still not correct. You're right. There are 19 pencils in the glass. Do you need anything else? Is it just me or did it have a little bit of an attitude with that anything else comment? Look, I don't know about you, but I am old enough to remember when people laughed when we said everybody eventually will have a phone in their pocket. And now I am telling you that all the signs are pointing towards all of us replacing our phone with smart AI glasses. And we're not too far from that as soon as they figure out how to make the tech lighter and smaller. Imagine having your glasses automatically adjust your eyesight so you don't need these anymore and displaying directions right here so you can keep an eye on the road and being able to work out what that sign means even if it's written in another language. I am personally excited about smart glasses. I got a little taste of it with the X-Reel where I connect these to my phone or connect these to my laptop and I've got this massive screen in front of me and I can work in private. This is pretty awesome. I can't wait till they take this to that next level and I'll be first in line to getting one of those. But what do you think? Do you think AI glasses are a thing? Not a thing? What do you think of Gemini Live? If you don't have it, it is available on most Android phones. So you can actually go and download it for free. Oh, and yes, I am totally aware of smart glasses could be used for evil. Like they did in that one experiment which doxed everybody. By the way, I called bullshit on that. You can see a whole video about that right over here. Before you head out, give the video a quick thumbs up. See you in this video. Let's go.